always want to check DRA with their knees bent because it's going to take the pressure off the lower back. Also, if they're straining in their neck, which she doesn't look like she's straining too bad. Do you want a pillow or anything? You can put something under their neck. Um, this is one thing, like if you're training postpartum clients, I would put on your radar and do within the first like two sessions, you know? Um, however, caveats, I don't love checking within the first six to eight weeks postpartum uh, because stuff is still healing. If I do check within the first six to eight weeks postpartum, I'm not checking again for another four to eight weeks. It does no good to check every week, every two weeks. <laughs> Freaking freezing. <laughs> and my hands are gonna be so cold. <laughs> um, reminder, have mom relax. I have to check with like around three fingers because my hands are small, right? And I usually start, can I touch you? <laughs> Up right underneath the rib cage and I'm feeling back and forth. Right now there's no there's no, like, she's not active. She's complete, re completely relaxed. And so I'm feeling the muscle, connective tissue, the whole situation. And I'll go down as low as mom lets me, but this goes all the way down to the pubic bone. Any pain, tenderness with any of that? All right, now what I want you to do is bring your chin to your chest and do, yep, a little sit up, bring your shoulders off. And so you gotta be a little sense of urgency here. This is actually healing better than this. Yeah. You can see there's about three fingers here and she's got a little depth just right above her belly button. You see that? And then relax. Oh yeah. <laughs> So then, okay, now that I know that she's got width here and depth, like I would only give her width is a little wider than her depth is in severity, right? Like you're three fingers here, but maybe two fingers depth. Yeah. Um, but the tissue is active. I can feel things wanting to engage, wanting to play the game. So now I like to feel what's going on under the rib cage. Ooh. Ooh. And I may just have you take a few breaths right here. This is bonus. Cool. So now we know what's going on. We also want to check her in uh, another position. So let's try side plank. Face Hannah over there. Why did you feel this under the rib? Just because I felt like that was more of like my chiropractic hat on. I felt trigger points and stuck tissue under there more so than the other side. Um, spread your feet out a little bit. Yeah. And then bring that. Yep. Okay, so what I want you to watch is this section, right? Just observe anything and everything you can. And what I want you to do is take a breath and stabilize and move on your exhale and just hip drive. No kickstand, nothing. What she's <laughs> And so now I'm gonna feel, do like two or three reps. Yeah, do two, two more. Can you do two more? Yeah. Are you nodding because it looks really good? <laughs> cool. And can we try the other side? Yeah. Stretch your feet out just a little bit more. Yeah. And I'm not going to touch you on the first one. Okay. Do two more. Cool. 
Either side feel harder. No. No? Cool. They didn't look, I mean, they didn't feel that different. Try bear. Was there coating or did it look like that was what I should be doing? Should be doing. Cool. But I'll, t I'll talk about it in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a grade now. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> Mm. <coughs> Lift your booty a little higher and take three diaphragm breaths. At the mouth breathe here. Fine. Spread here on your exhale. And then relax. Cool. Mmm, how'd that feel? Good. All right, what do we got? 